My name is Matt Alexander, and this is Vanna White. I'm going to show you my 2005 Dodge Sprinter van. We custom converted into our little studio on wheels. Come on inside. We'll start right here at the first transition table. I call it the transformer table. But basically, we've got our garage down here, all my tools and whatnot organized. And then we keep our dishes and pots and pans. This drops down to give us a nice little table for outside dining. And if we want to watch the football game, we can slide her right around to uh, get a nice little view of the game while we're outside. But we'll take it inside. Say hey to my boy Wilson. He's my co-captain and uh, security guard watchdog. We've got the suite, the seats here, the swivel. Highly recommend swiveling. It gives us the space to uh, modify and use the square footage appropriately. And it gives this small van a much bigger feel. With this couch, we're able to get about six people comfortably hanging out. We love to host, and so for us, it was about having the ability to use the biggest space of the van as a host and a, a couch and a place for community, and then also be able to switch that out into uh, our bed and take up the largest amount of space in the middle of the van. That's why I went with this design. I think it gives us a much better flow through the entire van. It doesn't chop the van off in half and allows us to get a nice long feel. So she's about 14 feet uh, long and gives us enough space to uh, comfortably live with two people and Wilson, but also is a 144 wheelbase, so turns on a dime, very easy to drive, and we can park her in a parallel parking space uh, in a downtown urban core with no issue. The design uh, for the entire van was put together with uh, my buddy Sill and I, and my girlfriend, Adriana. So the three of us built the van out over a three month period. The last month, we actually moved in with my buddy Sill, lived at his house, while we built it out every day because we were there from 8 to, to midnight anyway. And uh, the way we came up with it was just going back and forth on different ways to maximize the space. I wanted to be able to fit my camera equipment, my drone, and so these drawers were the opportunity to lock up everything and get my, my, all my equipment in a small space that's safe and I can bring it with me everywhere I go. And because I didn't insulate the floor, it ends up getting really cold when you wake up in the morning, and so I threw the rug down as like a nice barrier. And I'm gonna slide out, and this gives me the, the fluidness to actually fit my drone Arnold. We affectionately call everything in here uh, by name. So this is Arnold. The uh, Bluetooth is Tamra. We've got uh, or Tamra the tambourine and uh, uh, Janet the, the Bluetooth speaker. But we fit everything in here. All my camera equipment is able to get in here. And then these, this lattice work comes out on top, sits right up on this. Mattress slides over and it makes a full size mattress that uh, both of us can sleep on with no issue. Right Basically, the flooring is a uh, waterproof, wood-like uh, vinyl that allows us to spill anything we have on it and still looks nice. I wanted to keep brown on the bottom, brown up on top, and then have white sides to make it feel like it's pushed out in light colors. So we went with the wood, stained brown wood on the ceiling, the pine, and then uh, some simple homey feel uh, chrome paneling like here that gives it gives it that nice uh, southern style feel that I, that I was hoping to get. Moving down to the kitchen, we've got uh, all old IKEA wood blocks that we just took what we had and modified it. We had these wine boxes above our apartment oven back home in Orlando, and we just said, hey, we could add some doors for the ones that needed doors, and we had the ability to make it have a feel where it's got a story. We wanted the wood to have a story. Everything in here is recycled. For instance, this uh, IKEA wood block right here, we just cut a hole in it to drop the sink in. Six gallon jugs in here and two pumps, and boom, we got a sink. So to fit the stove where it's at, we took an old IKEA wood block and just cut the top, slid the top over our refrigerator, and then that gives us space to fit this two burner uh, oven and enough space to fit the 20 pound LP in between the two systems. So that gives us a rounded out kitchen with enough space countertop to prep our vegetables and food and still have areas to cook and it makes it so much easier than trying to finagle with a small space. So we really feel like the kitchen was a um, uh, something that we needed to get right and I, I'm real happy. So with the propane, I did a couple things uh, for safety. Uh, I took the uh, eye bolt and bolted the propane down with straps 
so that it's bolted to the frame of the actual vehicle and not going to go anywhere as well as I added a gas monitor right above the tank so it's able to warn me and monitor if I do have any leaks. Cut the 14 inch uh, typical square hole for the top and put a Max Air fan. I like the Max Air is a big beef between Max Air and uh, Fantastic Fan but I'm a fan of this remote and I'm not I don't work for Max Air but I think this thermostat is awesome and the fact that it runs on thermostat and changes and opens based on what you need it keeps it climate controlled and I think that's dope. Let's check out the uh, power system. We built the power uh, system out of the wheel well. It gives you the opportunity to organize all of your space, put everything where you need it and can access it, but yet takes up as minimal amount of uh, total uh, space. So the wheel well uh, gave us that opportunity. I highly recommend the uh, MPPT charge controller. If you go with an MPPT, not doesn't have to be Renergy, although this is a good one. Uh, but just having that MPPT gives you a super efficient taking the solar and not losing a lot of your energy. So definitely worth going with that and not going cheap with some of the charge controllers you can get on Amazon. 3000 watt inverter. We wired the whole system to go 110 as well as uh, 12 volt. So the 110 plugs in with a just make your own plug that goes straight into the inverter and we can unplug that and plug into an extension cord if we wanted to have shore power but we really don't ever use that uh, we run completely off the grid and uh, are able to sustain just by getting the solar from the roof which you'll see uh, soon and then the uh, alternator is also changed out which i highly recommend uh, in order to charge your battery bank while the engine's running we use a self-contained 10 gallon uh, number one only. Our luggage, if we want to go, there's a his and her. She's gone, so I put my backpack there, but we keep our luggage for when we want to travel. And uh, all of our clothes in a organized manner. I put a shoe rack up there so that she can fit all of her shoes in the back. It gives us uh, enough space. Although we did minimize a ton and went through a couple purge uh, sessions where we got rid of a ton of our stuff. Everything we own is in other than like a diploma and some uh, china cabinets. But, uh, the rest of the van would be upstairs. So let's take a look at the roof and you can see the solar system. All right, so welcome to the rooftop deck. I had to have a rooftop patio and I hadn't seen this before. So with $50, we were able to buy some fence posts from Home Depot, cut them in half, and we built this solid uh, rooftop deck that you're looking at. 450 watts of solar uh, on the top of the roof. These are all 30% flexible, super thin panels. I wanted to go with a super thin so that the rooftop deck would cover them and you can't see them at all on the outside. Max air fan in the middle and we basically just built the solar system to fit the uh, rooftop deck but we put two chairs here on the back side of the deck and when Adriana and I want to tailgate or get above everybody we can get a nice view of the sunset have a cocktail uh, uh, at the end of the day so it's a nice way for us to to get up and uh, relax up here. I would love for you guys to join the journey with us. Uh, our blog is called enjoythejourney.today. That's also a social media. I do a ton on Instagram, so that would be the best way to connect. We love to do Instagram stories and have people follow along on our journey with us as we travel all over the country and create content. And link will be in the description to uh, follow us and join our journey. Awesome guys, appreciate it. Always remember to enjoy the journey.